Right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, today is taking a bit of a, a bit of a turn for the worse. To be fair, I mean, it's starting to rain, which is really disappointing because yesterday, being Saturday, was a beautiful day, and um, we couldn't get anything done. So, I'm still hoping that we can get a few bits done today, despite the rain. Um, one of them being, I've got a spare front grill, upper grill, for the ST. Um, so this was my old one actually, which I replaced because the locking mechanism, there's a little clip at the bottom that broke. Um, so I replaced it, um, which is currently on the car with the red carbon fiber badge. Now we're going to, rather than destroying that, um, if you know where I'm going with this, is I've just bought myself from customrides.uk. So jump on there and get yourself one, a Zunsport um, badgeless grill. So we're going to use the old grill, we're going to cut that out today, and we're going to fit the Zun Sport uh, upper grill. Now, I'm going to attempt to do this with a uh, mini hacksaw, um, rather than going out and buying a possible Dremel or multi-tool. Um, I'm going to see if I can do that with, with that first, rather than going to spend essentially um, 40 quid today, because the anywhere else doesn't have them in stock and that's my best option to get this done today although as I say it's starting to rain so we're going to try and get this done with the mini hacksaw um, make it as good as we possibly can just to try and get it fitted today we can always finish it uh, off and make it look good but um, if we can try and get this fairly done today I will be pleased so let's crack on so there we go, this is the uh, one we've got currently in with the carbon fibre badge and we're going to replace it with this. This is the old one, uh, as I said that clip broke so I replaced it but I actually, it's in gloss, I mean it's a little bit dirty, uh, but it's in black gloss so if we can cut the middle out then potentially we can get this done today. Um, so let's crack on, this needs replacing badly, I lost it, lost it to the high winds took the front one off so I've had to put the old one back on um, and we still need to sort out this hole and get a replacement cap or we could just put a um, let's we'll work that out but let's get this done right guys so let's crack on as I say the weather looks absolutely rubbish it's about to rain um, so we can get this done if not we can move maybe move into the garage and see if we can get this done but i'm going to use we're going to use this um a sort of junior hacksaw mini jack hacksaw um and see if we can do it that way as i say i could probably it would look probably nicer and a lot neater with a like a multi-tool dremel um but do i want to spend the money on it not sure Let's see what we can do with this first. If necessary, we'll start it and then we can always go and get it. Um, so let's crack on. Right, so the good thing is we've got plenty of um, bits. So um, if we do um, start busting through this one, we've got a few spare. So I think we're just gonna start in the corner we're gonna get, uh, if we can get a section out, then at least that way then we can work our way along. Um, so yeah, let's get, get this started. Right, we're gonna see if we can get this quite close to the edge. It'd be nice to, to get it really nicely close, but it's a little bit tight in there. Definitely don't wanna destroy the paint. Right, so we got through the first one absolutely fine. It looks pretty close to the edge. Be nice to make it as flush as possible so we don't have to do too much sanding on it. Just don't want to catch the edge of the lip of the paint. Well, that's the second one through. Right, I think what we're going to do is undo this now and we're going to try and go the other way. Um, 
just so we can start getting a I'll take that out right right guys we're slowly getting there and um, we're not too far off now we've got sort of halfway or quarter through um, it's doing the job absolutely fine. To be fair, it's a little bit frustrating because obviously when you go through, you have to undo it, take it off, put it back on again. I mean, that's the only issue, but to be fair, apart from that, it seems to be doing the job absolutely fine. So it's probably not worth wasting the money if um, you don't have any reason to use the Dremel for any other reason than just something like this. Um, I mean, obviously it's a handy tool to have anyway, but. Uh, and you can pick them up reasonably cheap, but um, I was just trying to get it done today. So uh, yeah, you can pick them up 15, 20 quid or something. Um, so we're not far off. We're gonna work our way down and then hopefully the whole section will just come out rather than cutting individual bits out. But we've made enough a gap to get all the way through and um, let's get this, let's get this off. A bit there. Right, I think that's going to come out. There you go. Perfect. Gone. And then we've got that section. So we're just going to tidy this up now uh, and make it as flush as you can see. I started doing a pattern and I decided no, I'm not going to do that. So we just need to saw that bit out so that's that removed perfect right guys we managed to get it done um, it's chucking it down now so I'm calling it a day unfortunately I just caught the edge of this bit here so a little bit of paint come off we're gonna give it I mean I was gonna blast it with um, some black um, black paint but um, and now it's raining no chance but we we potentially could fit the grill um, and then tidy it up later just take it back out and do a bit of tidying up um, but yeah there's not much I can do now as it's chucking it absolutely chucking it down so we'll have to do the gloss another day so I think what I'll do is we might see if we can sand it slightly indoors or but i think we will try and get the grill fitted just to see what it looks like oh bloody weather right everybody welcome back to the channel so or welcome back to the video so a few days have passed we are back on it today uh, we are going to complete the Zunsport or the grill for the Zunsport to go into um We've got to get it done today. The sun is shining right now. Perfect time to get this sprayed, although it's a little bit windy. So, um, and then we've got to crack on with the car and do lots of stuff for Ford Fair. Yes, so I'll see you there. But right now we need to get this uh, upper grill done. The gloss that I did the other day looks pretty good and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but we're just gonna give it another gloss and then we're gonna lacquer it and that will have to do. Um, we're just running out of time. So let's crack on. Right guys, this was the result the other day looks pretty good sorry about the shadow um the only thing is a couple of bits of the inside just here where the paint chipped off um trying to get that completely um the same level is going to be really difficult so we're just going to do what we can shame just here 
where it dried it just bub not bubbled but just went in a little bit so it wasn't as uh the finish wasn't as good but we're going to try and just get this done and then get it lacquered um, and crack on with the car today so let's go right we've done the coat we're going to leave that to dry and come back to that and give it one more shot and then give it a lacquer although we do want to leave it a while so while that's going on we're going to get to the car we're going to do some other jobs seen from my last video <laughs> painted the uh the calipers, to be fair, they're not that bad. They look pretty good. So once the car's washed, uh, they should pop. Um, but we're gonna crack on today. We've got plenty to do. Um, plenty to do. So let's get on. Right guys, time to hit this with a bit of lacquer. So we'll give it a good shake. And then we're gonna hit this and finish this uh, upper grill off. Right guys, it's time to um, get the upper grill done. Um, so we're just going to put the, uh, the badgeless, badge, badgeless Zun Sport in now. Um, so let's just get that fitted and onto the car. Right guys, let's get the uh, slam panel removed. So I'm just taking out the uh, bolts there let's get that to one side I'm gonna get this grill off and then we're gonna get the new one on looking forward to this right give it a good pull and it pops out so let's give that a little clean this whole engine bay needs a good clean to be fair but let's give this area a bit of a clean and then I'm looking forward to getting this uh, badgeless grill on should look amazing. Well, right, let's give that clean, come on. Right, let's get this on the car. Oh. Finally, it's coming together. Oh, it should look good. Right, that's the upper grill installed. Really nice, looks really good, really pleased with that. So we're just gonna get this buttoned up and um, we'll be done for the day. Right, well there you have it, installation of the upper grill, Zunsport badgeless upper grill. Looks fantastic and matches now the bottom so yeah really pleased with that and um, you can find these on customrides.uk with the bonnet latch conversion kit which is really easy to do um, i've gone for version two have you seen in the videos um, fairly easy simple simple uh, rather than cutting but you know everybody has their own preference and style so um, but both do the same job so perfect absolutely lovely i'm really pleased with that right guys this is where i'm going to end this video of the zun sport um upper grill badgers grill um and then if you're still watching we're going to continue into what we've just uh or what we've also done today so it's a bit of a crossover video to be fair um but i'm going to split the two so um yeah keep on watching and i'll catch you on the next one right we've just had to do it differently and literally <laughs> Got, this is my last one and just lay it over the top dry Still can't see